Hey guys, what's up? Brandon Hicks here with Blender Unleashed, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a time lapse of a logo design that I did for a recent project. So in my last video, I showed you some of the cigar ad project that I was working on this past month. And now we're gonna jump into actually making the decisions about the design and how we created that for the cigar label. The first thing I did was I scanned some uh, sketches that I did of the logo, some ideas that I had and brought that into Adobe Illustrator. And now I'm going through and vectorizing some of those ideas and picking a direction for how this is gonna look. What I ended up doing with the idea for this project was landing on an idea that I think was a bit unique. And so I wanna talk a little bit about that. And that is that I picked something that meant a little bit to me and that it was a, based on a hobby that I have. Um, I'm a little bit of an amateur card magic enthusiast. One of the key figures in the history of card magic is somebody called S.W. Erdnes who wrote a book in 1902 called The Expert at the Card Table. Now, this book is known in the magic circles, the magic community as the Bible because of its influence that it's had on the uh, card magic and sleight of hand circles. Um, and it's very influential, uh, provides a lot of instruction on, on how to accomplish those things. What's really interesting about this character is that it's believed that S.W. Ernest is a pseudonym for an unknown person. There's a lot of theories about who this guy really was, but nobody really knows for sure. And so there's a lot of mystery involved with this, which kind of fits with the magic theme. And uh, I just thought it was a perfect fit for this project with the cigar ad. So a lot of decks of cards have been designed, uh, playing cards for the Ernest name, but I wanted to do a cigar ad for, uh, for this brand. And so it was up to me to come up with a monogram or a logo design for the SW Erdnase name. And that's what you're seeing me do here. So SWE is what I picked. And then I decided to go ahead and roll out the rest of the word Erdnase, the rest of the name there uh, to design this. Um, if you're not really familiar with Adobe Illustrator, it's a great way to go about doing uh, vectorized logos and, and art and things like that. It's really handy to have around when you need to create art that's gonna be scaled around a lot. You're not really sure what the final uh, size is gonna be because you're not dealing with pixels, you're dealing with curves. I can scale this up to the size of a billboard or down to something that will fit on a coin. It really doesn't matter if I'm creating the art this way. So if you've never played with it before, I would encourage you to jump in and learn some illustrator techniques because they will really help you out as a 3D artist. A lot changed with this process. Uh, I'm, I'm experimenting this entire way through. I've picked a direction now for, uh, you know, what this logo is going to look like, but I'm still making design decisions as I go. One of the things I want to talk a little bit about is the importance of continuous learning. And for this project, it was important for me to not only brush up on my graphic design skills, but specifically my typography skills. Um, typography is, is dealing with the ins and outs of lettering and specifics such as how letters are formed uh, together in, uh, in unison for fonts and things like that. This is a handwritten font. I'm using something um, from Pinterest for guidance in terms of the scripting but it's all hand drawn by me. And so I'm not using a font predetermined to give me any ideas for how things have to look. And so as such, it's on me to decide how to place all of these things you're seeing on screen. Uh, that goes down to the width of all the lettering, the strokes, and I have to make sure those are consistent and, and they work and flow together and things like that. Uh, for this particular project, it was really important that I put on my designer hat and focus on those things. And that's not always the case, but for this project it was. And so that's one of the things that you should really be aware of as you work on your projects is depending on the subject matter, it's always a history lesson. You're going to have to go in and learn what you need to know more about this time around. Um, whatever your subject matter is, it's going to involve research. And I'm not going to talk a lot about that because I talked about that a lot in my last video where I talked about my workflow for figuring out the concept. 
This entire process is gonna be about 13 minutes, but this represents about 12 hours worth of work. And this is spread out over a couple of weeks. So you're actually seeing me spend several days on and off working on this logo. Um, and that's an important thing to note too, is I didn't do this all in one sitting. I took the time to think things through when I got stuck on something. I took a break, I stepped away. I made sure I wasn't forcing myself down a path that wasn't gonna work for the project. And sometimes it's really just about making sure you're blocking out time so that you're focusing on the right things. And you can't always see the, the path you need to take in the moment. And so if you get to a point where you're stuck on one of your projects, my advice to you is maybe to take a break, uh, go outside, do something different, uh, get out of your head, and that'll help you solve the problems. I wanna talk a little bit more about where we're headed with this project. There's a lot more to do with it. Uh, I'm still working on it at the time of this recording, but as of now, I've wrapped the cigar uh, band, which you'll see at the end of this video. And now I'm working on the texturing phase. So there'll be a couple of more tutorials that you'll see uh, where I walk through the blender part of the process more in depth. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's valuable and there's some things to walk away with here for your projects. Uh, one of the things I wanna hit on a little bit is the importance of perseverance as you get into this project. Um, there were a lot of times during this project where I was really happy with the results and I kept going and, and you know just felt good about everything. And there were a lot of moments with this design where I felt like I was hitting brick walls and I just, didn't know if I was gonna make it through. And it's always kind of like that with, with projects. It doesn't matter how many projects I do, how much success I have. Um, every single project, almost without exception, there's a point where I have to solve a problem and I kind of wonder if I'm gonna be able to do it. And that's completely normal. And so if you're in that sort of valley right now, wherever you're at, I wanna just encourage you to persevere, keep pushing, um, and know that you will be able to find a solution to whatever issue you're facing. So yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to uh, keep pushing yourselves. Now we're jumping in Blender a little bit here because I wanted to get a feel for how this cigar band was going to unwrap. The problem here is I've got a UV unwrapped so I can export that, but I'm not really positive that the dimensions are correct for how this is going to look laid flat on paper. Then I modeled this as a cylinder, and so there's not really an easy way to unfold this without making sure that it's not stretching. So what I'm doing first here is duplicating it out to the side, and then I re went ahead and re-extruded the original loops down because this other model has a little bit of a taper on the cigar band, and what I wanted to do was get rid of that. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is separate the cigar band as if I took a pair of scissors and cut it down the middle and then I'm gonna unwrap that using Blender's cloth simulation. I'm gonna select those edges, use the split commands to go ahead and get that split apart. And then I'm gonna assign those vertices that I split into a new vertex group. And that's gonna be used in the cloth sim. So here I've added a subsurf modifier, adding some extra edge loops to make sure those edges are hardened. There you can see the vertex group that is showing in white painted mode. And now I'm just repositioning this so that when I run the cloth sim, the gravity will be able to do its thing and help me out. So this is pretty cool. Um, make sure I jump into the cloth sim, set the pin group, vertex group as the, uh, the pin, turn pinning on and that's about it. I don't really have to do anything else. I'm gonna cache this to the disc with uh, 500 frames run the sim and bake it and that's it. So now you can see it unwrapping as I scrub through the timeline and there you go. So there's no stretching on this. Uh, I've let Blender simulation completely do the unwrap for me. No effort there required. And now all I have to do is rotate this into position and uh, pull that back into my Illustrator software so that I can keep going and now I know the size. So the, the cigar band here is actually a little bit taller than what it's gonna be when I'm finished. And uh, I'll just use some transparency in the shader that I create to get rid of the extra 
uh, width there, but you will see that in a minute. So quickly exporting a UV map to pull that back over into Illustrator, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so at this point, we're hitting about eight hours, like I said, a lot of time already put into this. By the end of the video, I will have put in about 12 hours over several days, like I said. And um, I hit a snag towards the end here that I wanna talk about that really kind of had me guessing whether or not I was gonna have to go back quite a ways and kind of start over a little bit. Um, I didn't duplicate the, the original logo and save it to a separate layer. I've got lots of layers used right now. And if you've ever worked with Illustrator, you know that things can get pretty complicated if you're using some of the uh, strokes and layering techniques, things like that. I was set on a green label for the middle of this, and then I decided to go back and, and change it to silver instead, silver and black. And so that made things a little bit more complicated and, and it was gonna take more time. And I had a decision to make at this point. I could either give up and just go with green and say, ah, oh, well, that's it. Um, or maybe try to hack it and fix it in Photoshop. Or I could, you know, put the time in, go back and do it the right way. And I decided that uh, in this particular case, it, it would be better to put the time in um, because it's gonna look better and it's gonna be noticeable on the close-up renders that I'm gonna be doing in Blender. It took a lot of time, as you can see, going through and cleaning up those paths and making sure those look good um, was not easy. And it, it took a, quite a bit of time, but it was worth it. And it will be worth it as we get to the rendering section. And so now I'm going layer by layer and making sure that everything is kind of tweaked and locked in. I'm getting rid of those extra points that are unnecessary for merging. So yeah, we're getting to the end of this now. Um, and just wanna make sure that I nail home the point about perseverance. There's a lot of times throughout these projects where, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to solve these problems. And even after, you know, hundreds of hours, hundreds of projects probably for clients and myself and things like that over the years, um, I still get to a point sometimes where I wonder if it's gonna work out. And it always does, but uh, you know, you have to push yourself. And so I would just encourage you, uh, if you're out there today and you're struggling with a problem with your project, hit me up in the comments, let me know about it. I'd love to help you out if I can. And uh, keep pushing guys, never give up. And uh, I'll be back soon with more tutorials, more breakdowns of the cigar ad in the next few videos. So come back, hit the subscribe button, give me a like and share this with your friends. Later. Yeah.